Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your love reading for January 8th through January 14th. I just did the general reading. If I forgot to zoom the camera in, I do not know and I apologize. I will try to remember it this time. Um, now this is for the sign of Capricorn. If it does not resonate, just take what does and leave the rest. This is part is intended to be a love reading. Of course, we'll get that security and abundance here where we, you know, <laughs> oh, okay. Contradictions. All right. So this is supposed to be a love reading. All right. We're going to see what we can get for love. Oh, that looks pretty damn good, don't it? Okay. So there's a lack of receiving here. Perhaps you guys aren't giving the love that you need to give or somebody's not reciprocating or you're not receiving the love. Okay. If that's what it looks like to me, okay, maybe somebody is, if we have a dead end of some sort, maybe there's, you know, there's a fork in the road, and holy shit, things are changing, like I, in the general reading, th something's changing, I didn't know if it was love or not, <coughs> <coughs> I do apologize for the cough, um, seems to be for you, anyhow, um, uh, we have this gathering as well. We had it in the other one. You may be attending some kind of gathering where there's a bunch of people together, okay? Just saying some, you may be, you may be, you may or may not be. You could be, um, there could be some kind of roadblock in regards to a commitment that you're in, okay? There could be a roadblock. There could be somebody that is thinking about becoming free. That could be you or the other person. Somebody is thinking about how they're going to become free or how they're going to get out of this situation. You know, they're contemplating, how am I going to, how am I going to get out of this? They're thinking about it. They, it, it feels like something in, wants to end. Somebody wants to end perhaps some kind of commitment. You know, there's some kind of death here. Death, okay? It is reversed, but it hasn't happened yet. It's like you're holding on to something, okay? You are holding on to something. But you're and you're so close to letting it go, but you just haven't let it go yet. It maybe it's very emotionally emotional. Maybe you're connected to it emotionally, so that's why you haven't let it go. It's like there's some kind of um, discomfort here. There and there could certainly be some kind of celebration that really isn't much of a celebration at all. Maybe you go to it thinking that you're going to celebrate, but you don't end up celebrating. I don't know what it is, but that could certainly be the case. There's some kind, um, I mean, this is a love reading. I see that you're receiving some kind of gift, even if it hurts, okay? You are receiving a gift with that Ace of Pentacles, whether, and it's something on a tangible level. It could be money. I mean, and I know this is the love portion of the reading, but I have to tell you what this Ace of Pentacles is. It could be a new partner, period, or it could be a gift from a partner, something on a tangible level, all right? It feels like... There's been some lack of contentment here for Darren Shore, lack of lack of love in your life. Maybe it's even love for yourself, but it could have been from another person. There could have been a third party situation that's come to light. Maybe somebody acted impulsively, you know, and now they're the the um it's time to pay the piper, that kind of thing. There is some kind of um discontent here all right in your life there's some kind of discontent about wanting something to end or something ending that you didn't want to end it can go vice versa there's some kind of blockage here okay there's like either you know there's some kind of roadblock or blockage one or the other um, I want to clarify this uh, this ace of cups and the it reversed and the death card reversed. I want to know what this is. Yeah, you put effort into something and it's not paying off. What is it? You've put effort. Is it into a relationship? You've put effort into something and you've been waiting for it to pay off. You've been waiting, waiting, waiting and there's like nothing happening. There's no more growth. I mean, is that what the case is for somebody? And this is, maybe you decide finally it's time to let it go. I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, there is definitely some kind of blockage. Somebody is blocking somebody, whether they're not communicating or whatnot. There's there's lack of 
forward movement within some kind of commitment, okay? There's lack of forward movement. It's like all of a sudden things are completely at a stalemate and somebody is thinking about how they're going to free themselves from this situation. Somebody in your life, whether it's you or the other person, hasn't been reciprocating. And it's causing a lot of uh, hurt. A lot of hurt. Somebody's hurt here in this situation. Not feeling loved at all. Whether it's you or the other person, somebody is not feeling loved. And they're thinking about how the hell am I going to get out of this? How am I going to get out of this? We're going to go ahead and get these. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I don't see new love coming in. I'm sorry. I'm not going to pretend that I do. Not that reader that's going to give you all bot positive. I just, I'm going to give you what I see. I see that, you know, it's actually a gift, okay? They're your, it's actually a gift, whatever this is. Um, everything happens for a reason. There is some deception. <coughs> Someone is wearing <clears throat> a false self mask in this relationship. Somebody's been hiding something. Yes, they have. Somebody's been hiding something, and I think you know who and what it is, okay? And I think that they've just been waiting for the perfect time, waiting for the time to um, make their move. Right now, somebody is trapped, but they're waiting to make their move, and that could certainly be you, because there's no love there left anymore. It's like there's no more love. You could be staying because of the financial security. You were the other person. The first card is deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. We just went over that card. You know who and you know what. Okay? So I don't really need to go into that one. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Perhaps well, that's one of the reasons why you're stuck, why you're trapped, why this ending hasn't happened. Could be because of your finances and your career and the stability that this situation offers you. We're going to go ahead and read the card. It's Fourth Chakra, Archangel Raphael. I like that. These are the Energy Oracle cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. Love, compassion, and self acceptance. Raphael extends a beautiful green energy surrounded by gentle waves of pink to your heart center. This card upright indicates that you now have a greater readiness to receive love from others as well as you're from yourself. It could also indicate that a much needed healing from a previous broken heart is taking place. Oh my God, that is the truth. The tender vibrations of Raphael remind you to encourage yourself with the compassionate self-talk that you desire to hear from others. Know that as you do, the light from your heart center will shine with an irresistible beauty and the universe will send people and situations that cause your sense of, sense of love and support to grow and grow. You guys are very, many of you, somebody who's watching this, not everybody, is deceiving themselves. Something, there's, there's a lack of contentment within a relationship. And they've reached a point where they just, somebody wants to get out of it. I want to free myself from this situation. I've put in all I can do. The other person's not reciprocating. I'm not reciprocating. The only reason I'm staying is for financial security. And there's deception all the way around. There could definitely be some third-party situations here coming from either direction. And somebody's just waiting for the perfect moment to let go of the fear based on my other reading and move on. Love yourself first. That's your message. Talk to you later, Capricorn.